the 117 Vietnamese martyrs, also known as St. Andrew Dung Lac and Companions were canonized by Pope John Paul II on June 19, 1988, when thousands of Vietnamese worldwide gathered at the Vatican. Their Catholic Church commemorates them every November 24. The Catholic Church in Vietnam was devastated during the Tay Son Rebellion in the late 18th century. After Nguyen's victory in 1802, and as a result of cooperation with French vicar apostolic Pinu de Bahain and Nguyen An, the new emperor ensured the protection of missionary activities. However, there was growing antipathy against Catholicism and missionaries that it was purely for political reasons that their presence was tolerated. Tolerance continued until the death of the emperor and the new emperor Min Mang, who succeeded to the throne in 1820. The first reported harassment began in the late 1820s. In 1831, the emperor ordered the prohibition against Catholics. The following year, the largely Catholic community in a village near Hue was incarcerated and sent into exile in Cambodia. In January 1833, a new kingdom-wide edict was passed calling on Vietnamese subjects to reject the religion of Jesus and required suspected Catholics to demonstrate their renunciation by walking on a wooden cross. Actual violence against Catholics, however, did not occur until the Le Van Khoi Revolt. In October 1833, an officer of the emperor reported to the court that a foreign Christian religious leader was present in the rebel Gia Din Citadel. This was used to justify the edicts against Catholicism which led to the first executions of missionaries in over 40 years. The first executed was named François Gagelin. A young French missionary priest named Joseph Marchand was captured and executed by slicing as a rebel leader in 1835. The first missionary arrested was the priest Jean Charles Cornet in 1837. A military campaign was conducted in Nam Dinh after letters were discovered in a shipwrecked vessel bound for Macau. In 1838, several priests along with the French missionary bishop Pierre Dumoulin Bory were captured and executed. François Jacquard, a Catholic who was kept prisoner and served as a translator, was executed later that year. The Vatican estimates the number of Vietnamese martyrs at between 130,000 and 300,000. The tortures these individuals underwent are considered by the Vatican to be among the worst in the history of Christian martyrdom. A representative sample of 117 martyrs, 96 Vietnamese, 11 Spanish Dominicans, and 10 French members of the Paris Foreign Mission Society, were beatified on four separate occasions. All of these Vietnamese martyrs, both those whose names are known and unknown, were canonized on June 19, 1988, giving them a single feast day. A young Vietnamese martyr, Andrew of Phu Yen, was beatified in March 2000 by Pope John Paul II. For more information about every saints and their feast day, Please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.